everybody and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I am going to be bringing back a video that I haven't, hang on one minute the washing machine. Sorry the washing machine was being loud. So I'm bringing back a video that I haven't filmed in a while and that is a favourites video. I used to do one of these every single month at the end of each month just to kind of talk about my favourite products of that month. So today I'm going to do my September favourites, so things that I've really enjoyed throughout September. I want to start posting on my channel more and I want to start back up doing my kind of like favourites videos because I just enjoy like sharing things that I like and I don't have like that much to talk about in this video but the first couple of things before I forget is number one, my fire well my stove i absolutely love having fires if i have a fire tonight i will try and insert footage over the top of this video to show you like what it looks like when it's lit but it just it's so cozy in this room and it just heats up the whole of the downstairs of my house well it's only the living room and the kitchen but it warms me up and it's just so cozy i watch tv the fire's going i'm kind of getting used to how to light a fire like i literally the first time I did it, it just went out because I was just confused as to what I need to do, but I'm getting there and yeah, I think it's okay and I think I understand it, but yeah, I'm absolutely loving having fires. Second thing is this jumper that I'm wearing right now. So this is so, 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 so cozy. I actually got this from Primark. There was only one. I went into Primark with the intention of looking for a fleece. Ideally one that zipped all the way down, but I didn't manage to find one. I knew that in the women's section there probably wouldn't be what I was looking for. So I went to the men's section and they had this, which was kind of sort of what I was looking for. And 100% I would have been obsessed with this fully if it was in like a size medium. But the only size that they had was extra large. And that's a male extra large. So this is what we're looking like right now. Like look at this, but like look how cozy this is. Like this is literally the coziest thing ever. So I'm not actually complaining because it keeps me warm and this will be perfect in the winter months to, you know, keep me warm and, you know, it saves on lighting a ton of fires, even though I will still be lighting a ton of fires, but it just saves on me having to put the radiators on constantly if I'm already warm and it does zip up like all the way like that which I do often kind of wear it like that but I think you know just to save me strangling myself for this video I won't necessarily do that but yeah so those are the two things that I will forget to mention if I didn't mention them at the start that I'm loving is this jumper and the fire next up we have some skincare products there is actually quite a lot of skincare in this video also i do apologize if you can hear the washing machine it's so annoying it's just going mad right now but i'm still going to film this video so just bear with me first product is this which is from the brand q a i've never actually heard this before and like of this brand before and i found this on amazon i was looking for a cleansing balm this is the grapefruit cleansing balm from the brand q a it says it's hydrating calming and refreshing and it helps to gently melt away your makeup at the end of the day i obviously used to sell my own products and i don't think i've actually mentioned on my channel but i have stopped selling my products at the minute on etsy and ebay because of lack of time to make the products to post the products and i don't want to feel stressed when i get orders i want to be happy when i get orders so i've stopped doing that you know for now and until you know whenever i can start that back up again and i don't actually have the ingredients to make myself a cleansing balm my own cleansing balm because I used to religiously use my own cleansing balm because I really did love it. I loved the smell of it. I loved how it just melted my makeup away. But unfortunately, you know, I'm not just going to buy a ton of ingredients to make my own cleansing balm just for the sake of it. So I have bought this one and I really like this. It does go quite oily if it's left in the sun. Obviously, don't leave cleansing balms in the sun because they're oils, they are going to melt. But I mean, just even like slightly in the sun this will melt quite easily so just bear that in mind but it's so nice like it melts away your makeup really nice it's got a nice grapefruity smell and if you have never used cleansing balms to remove your makeup start doing it genuinely it makes a massive difference 
when you are, you know, if you just wash your face with water and soap, okay, fair enough, you do you. It depends how much makeup you wear as to like your preference, but you are not gonna feel the experience that you feel if you use a cleansing balm. This, or cleansing balms in general, literally just melt your makeup away. They break down all of the makeup that you have in your face. So foundation, concealer, powders, mascara. Like for me, cleansing balms are the biggest help when it comes to mascaras um, and, you know, removing that because water, especially with my waterproof mascara that I accidentally bought because I hate waterproof mascaras, but I wouldn't be able to remove this with anything but a cleansing balm and i just swear by them this one is really nice i would recommend it it was like eight or nine pounds from amazon um obviously i don't know where else this brand is sold but i just found it on amazon and i really like it and i just wanted to mention it in this video because it's a great product then we have something that looks kind of similar but it isn't it's a completely different product this is from the brand botanics and it's a clarifying foaming cleanser so this is something that I also picked up from Amazon. I don't know how much this was. Actually, did I get this from Amazon? No, I think, no, I got this from Boots. I got this from Boots in Lincoln when I took a little shopping trip. And I wasn't expecting this, but it is actually um, gray or like kind of black on the inside. I didn't think it would be because it doesn't, like the bottle doesn't really, um, or the packaging doesn't make it look like it's gonna come out gray. But I'm here for it, I like that. I don't mind whatever color it is and i really like this it makes my skin feel really clean after using it and soft i wouldn't say it's like amazingly special like it doesn't stand out above other cleansers but i really like the packaging of this both of these products i have out on the side in my bathroom because i really like the look of the packaging of them and i think you know if you can produce a product that's really great and great packaging then that's a winner for me because i will keep it on display so i just wanted to mention that i have really been liking this as well i then have another thing that i purchased from amazon so these are three face masks i got them in a set of three with a face mask brush as well from amazon and i think it was like 18 pounds for three and for me i was more than happy to spend that because it worked out to be like like roughly six pounds each one and i was really happy to get three different face masks so the first one is this dead sea minerals mud mask so this is a black face mask now this one is meant to target um, acne and it says it's going to revitalize and contract your pores I just know that this one is meant to be good for like spots and things like that I don't have that many spots but I have this habit of like not removing my makeup properly I know I've just shown you a cleansing balm on how to remove your makeup both of these products will get your makeup off really well but sometimes I just can't be bothered to do it fully and the whole process and then I get spots so if I'm completely on it and secure with my skincare routine, sorry, I've just seen something, I'll tell you about it in a minute, um, then I won't get spots. But yeah, so that one targets spots. Um, yeah, what I just saw was basically I put in this whole tree into my hamster's cage and it's attached to a bit of string that dangles down from his cage. And I've just realized he's managed to chew the whole thing down because um, I was thinking he, I actually might have to cut it down because he might not be able to get to it, but he's managed to chew it down. So that's good. Um, the second mask in the little trio that you get is the green tea clay mask and this is for oil control and it's a deep cleansing blackhead removing you cannot actually remove blackheads with products like this or products in general um, you kind of need actual tools to remove blackheads so just bear that in mind there are tools out there if you do want to remove blackheads so research into them i personally haven't used them but i've seen them um, on youtubers videos that i've watched but it is like um an extraction of the blackheads like from your nose or wherever um it's not as simple as using a face mask unfortunately so just bear that in mind and the third and final face mask which i actually think this is my favorite one out of the three because i have used all three of these 
Um, this is the Turmeric Clay Mask and it's for brightening, repairing and anti-aging. This left my skin so soft and so smooth in comparison to the other two. The other two are great, but this one in particular, I just noticed a massive difference with my skin after using this. So I would recommend all three of these, but this one in particular. And they did come with a face mask brush as well. I did use this for a bit, didn't particularly like it because I feel like this applies too much product. When I put a face mask on, I don't want it to be on too thick because then, you know, it doesn't dry as well. You don't get the full effect of the face mask. It's difficult to wash off. You're wasting product. So I just prefer like applying face masks with my hands. I also have just a quick hair mask like hair product favorite. This is the Garnier Ultimate Blends Hair Food, um, sorry, Repairing Hair Food Papaya and Amla. I'm not sure what Amla is, but I'm sure it's something fine. Um, this smells so nice. Now, this isn't just this particular scent that I'm putting in as a favorite. It's these face masks from Garnier in general. I really like them. They make my hair so soft. I do a face mask once a week on a Sunday. A Sunday is like a little pamper routine for me. I'm filming this video on a Sunday and I dye my eyebrows. I do facial cupping. I do a face mask. I do like an acid peel situation, a hair mask. I fake tan. I literally do so many different things just because it like resets me for the following week. And it sounds like those, you know, things take a long time, but they actually don't. It's a good like maybe half an hour to an hour, but to me that's fine. Um, so yeah, but this is really good. So I thought just to mention that. And also it looks good in my bathroom. Again, a product with good packaging. All of the skincare products I've just shown you, I've just realized I do actually have on display in my bathroom. And I don't like a lot of clutter when it comes to my bathroom, but I do like to put out products and things that look good. So you can see why these are favorites because they're good products and they look good. I have a homeware, a couple of homeware bits. The first one is this, which I did mention in a recent haul video. This I got from the range. I really like this. This was only like two or three pounds. It just makes a big difference to how my living room looks. It goes on the windowsill in my living room, which is where you're sitting right now. And I just think this is a great addition to have in my house and it's great for all year round. Although I did buy it in like an, the autumn months, but this for me is something I will keep out all the time. I just like how it looks. I like the colour of it. I like just, it's just nice. So I just thought to mention that. Another homeware thing. Um, oh, did I forget the spoon? Oh no, it's here. So it's my pumpkin mug. Now this I use once a day in the evening for a cup of tea. I will put it in this mug. It looks like this. I, I need to wash it up. It has been used, but I just think this is the cutest thing ever. It makes me feel like more Halloween-y and more autumnal and it makes me excited to have like my cup of tea in the evening. So yeah, I would recommend getting that off Amazon if you um, are into kind of things like that. Like when I mean into things like that, I mean just if small simple things make you happy, like a little pumpkin mug, go and get it. Why not? Food favorite, this is like kind of the final category in a way. Um, so hooch. I haven't, like I forgot the existence of hooch until I went into the shop and I remembered it existed. I love hooch. I know it's like um, a weak alcohol, but it tastes so good. Like to me, this doesn't even taste like alcohol because you know, it is quite weak, but it's got such a nice refreshing lemony flavor. This probably should have mainly been a favorite throughout the summer because it's the kind of drink you'd want to drink in the summer, but it's so refreshing. It tastes really nice. I love lemony flavored things. I love soury things. So for me, this is like my favorite drink and yeah, I love it. Sorry, my camera just decided to um, go to sleep. Anyway, another thing is cake boxes in general. So I used to be, and I apologize for this, a bit of a snob when it comes to people buying cake boxes. I used to think it's so lazy to do that. And you might as well just, you know, if you wanna bake, just bake from scratch, which I do still partly agree with, but sometimes you just wanna bake things and you just want it to be quick. You just want it to be simple. You don't wanna to have to buy all the ingredients. If you don't bake regularly, you probably won't have loads of ingredients in your house anyway. If you do, fair enough. But for me, I used to be, you know, a massive lover of baking, but because I don't have as much time anymore due to work and just general life things, 
I just never baked and I never really took the time. But since I've been getting boxes, I've been baking a lot. I baked brownies, I recently baked red velvet cupcakes and I'm next gonna bake this coffee cake. Now I'll either bake the cake or I'll bake cupcakes, I'm not sure yet. But basically you just add a few ingredients that obviously the box can't provide. For example, eggs and oil and water. But you know, those are things that you should probably have in your cupboards. Um, also, it does require icing as well. And I picked up the icing too. Obviously you couldn't make the icing, um, but I picked this up as well just to be, you know, fully, fully lazy but i just enjoy it and for me spending my money on this like it would be cheaper to get the raw ingredients um to bake from scratch of course it would be but you know sometimes it's not about getting the cheapest of everything sometimes for me it's about um you know baking something that i know is going to turn out decent that is going to be quick and easy for me to do and i will enjoy it and for me i sing is my least favorite thing to make. So this 100%, like I 100% would buy this by itself, even if I didn't get the box, because I'm not a massive fan of making icing. Coffee cake is actually my favorite cake to eat. So I'm excited to make this. Maybe I will film it next weekend in a vlog or something. We shall see. I've been talking too fast and I'm getting out of breath. Yeah, that's everything for physical favorites for this month. I will try and do another one of these videos for October. I don't know what will be in it. Um, I'm just looking at this bowl of conkers. My mom gave me these conkers from um, her garden and it's just chilling like on the side. Don't know why I thought to mention that, but yeah. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did like the video. Comment whatever you feel like commenting if you would like to. I'm not really a person for commenting on videos anymore. Um, so I understand like why people don't comment because I just watch a ton of videos and never comment. But you know, maybe we should because it just boosts that person's videos. Um, but yeah, subscribe if you've not already subscribed to this channel. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.